Hi, I'm Annette Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach, and today I'm going to talk to you about zinc, zinc deficiency, and a really easy way to test at home to see if you're zinc deficient. So zinc is an essential mineral. We all need it. It's important for the functioning of many of our enzymes, which are proteins that do all the chemistry in our body, all the chemical reactions, and it's important for many things. And I really wanted to tell you about it because for skin pickers, there's three reasons why zinc is really important. So the first one is acne. A lot of us are plagued by acne or other skin conditions, itchy rashes, things like eczema, psoriasis, and chances are if you have any of these conditions, you could very well be zinc deficient and you ought to suspect that and test for it. So that's the first one, acne and other skin conditions. Um, wound healing, zinc is really, really important for the healing process of wounds. So if you're creating wounds with picking, you definitely wanna make sure you have optimal zinc levels. Third is depression actually. So depression, a lot of us with the picking have depression as well. So I was reading a review article today on depression related to zinc. People with depression have much lower concentrations of zinc and several randomized controlled trials support the effectiveness of zinc as adjunctive therapy for improving mood in both depressed and healthy individuals. And that's straight out of this review article, which I'll link to below if you're interested. And zinc supplementation also improved mood in cases with treatment resistant depression in several studies. And I was reading a book as well um, that suspecting zinc deficiency in pretty much everyone that has mental illnesses of any sort has an increased requirement for zinc. So other reasons why you may be deficient in zinc include increased requirements because of medications. So many medications actually deplete zinc levels, including the birth control pill. Other signs that you may be deficient in zinc include if you get a lot of colds because it's really important for our immune system and our immunity and ability to fight infections like colds or like infected, you know, infections in the skin as well. It is also another sign that I used to have actually is if you have like white marks on your nails, that's a sign of zinc deficiency as well. Reasons for zinc deficiency. Okay, one could be that you're, you have a vegetarian or vegan diet and you're not eating a lot of foods that are high in zinc. We'll talk more about sources of zinc in your food later. Another risk or reason that you're deficient in zinc is if you eat a lot of grains and you're not soaking them. So for example, I used to eat a lot of brown rice. You really have to soak that well, rinse it and soak it to get rid of the phytates that are in the outer part of the rice or other grains, you know, quinoa or whatever you're eating. Um, these compounds chelate zinc, they means they attach to the zinc and then you excrete them. So you would be getting rid of most of your dietary zinc if you're eating a lot of grains that are not, have not been soaked or sprouted in the proper way. Okay, so how do you test your zinc levels? Well, you can use this zinc sulfate mix. So this is a product from Premier Research Labs and I'll link to this in the notes um, in the YouTube description. This is a highly absorbable liquid zinc dietary supplement, but you can easily use it to test whether you are deficient in zinc. And then if you are, you can take this as a supplement. So the way that we do this is you're gonna take a teaspoon and if it tastes like water, you, you wanna hold it in your mouth if you can for like 10 seconds. If it just tastes like water, that means you are very deficient in zinc. Now, let me just mention, because I haven't yet, that I'm not a medical doctor. You guys know that, but I just gotta say that. I'm not a medical doctor, so this is education. This is not like, you know, me giving medical advice, okay? So this is uh, some basic health education. So anyway, what you do, <laughs> you, you test it, you take some, you test it, and it's, if it tastes like water, you really are very deficient. 
if it tastes like as you hold it in your mouth, you taste some other taste, you know, not necessarily very unpleasant. It might taste metallic or sweet or something. Um, then you're you're also fairly zinc deficient, so in need of supplementation. Now, if it tastes really disgusting, and especially if it tastes really disgusting, like right away, um, like you just want to get rid of it, you are good. You do not need to take any more zinc. Okay, so in, in that case, you have plenty of zinc from whatever food you're eating, and you don't need to supplement. Okay, so uh, let's try some of this. Is this on camera? Yeah. <laughs> I need your help, sweetie. <laughs> I'm in my husband's setup here. I'm actually in front of a green screen, and that is supposed to look like zinc behind me. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so you want to um, just hold the glass so I yeah. can have, are we both lying? Yeah, we're both lying. Say hello. Hello. That's my husband. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to taste some. Mmm. <laughs> hmm. I'll swallow it because, you know, it didn't taste that great. I definitely have higher zinc than I did last week when I first tried it because I've been supplementing. Um, it doesn't taste horrible. It's just like my mouth tastes like metal now. She needs that zinc. I need, yeah, I still need some zinc. But I made him try it and it was disgusting. Should we make him try it again? Oh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're easy. For education. So. By the way, we're using half a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. Um, one teaspoon contains 10 milligrams, which is 67% of the daily, the recommended daily value. So you can actually take, um, you know, at least you can take twice that and you'll just be a little over the daily value. So if you're deficient, that's not a problem. Now, you probably, if you have enough, you Do don't have to swallow it and you don't have to keep it in your mouth. Can I overdose on zinc? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I mean, not like try this, you this amount won't make you overdose. Okay. Here you go. But look at the camera. You, you can spit it out if you want. Why I, did you I, swallow it? I don't know, but it's horrible. Why did you <laughs> swallow? You should not have swallowed. Yeah. That means that you had enough zinc already. Okay, okay. I, have, I think I have sweetie. more than enough now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, awesome. All right, so that is, that's the liquid, liquid zinc assay. And then, you know, yeah, if you are deficient, you can just supplement with this one. It's very absorbable form. Um, now, just to mention some foods, like what are the foods that are really high in zinc if you don't want to, you know, rely on supplements? Well, the highest is oysters by a lot. Oysters, for some reason, are incredibly high in zinc. Um, other foods that are quite high would be beef, lamb. Um, I wrote them down. Pumpkin seeds are very high in zinc. So, it's, you know, we can, all can eat that, uh, even if you're vegetarian or vegan. Um, cashews and chickpeas are like fairly high, yogurt. Um, dark meat chicken yeah those are some good sources of zinc so yeah I'm not like in this taste in my mouth I'm gonna have some water all right thank you for oh it tastes worse with water I don't know why like the sides of my mouth the sides of my tongue taste really metallic okay well um Feel free to comment, and especially if you try your zinc, like, let us know how it tastes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're not already. I'm thinking of doing more nutrition videos, so if you are like this, if you're interested in that, please comment and or give it a thumbs up. Hi, I'm in that pasture neck. What am I doing on Mars? <laughs>